Here we are going to take a look at Genoa wheels, something that offers us intermittent motion, uh, how to design one and how it moves. To start with, we need to know how large it is, say its radius, suppose it's 50 mm. Then we need to know how many indexing stops it makes, suppose it makes 5 stops, so we'll divide 360 by 5 and at that angle we will rotate our slot and make 4 more copies like this. Now a Genoa wheel is driven by a peg which enters tangentially into a slot, rotates it, pushes it and brings it into this position and then exits again tangentially. Uh, these pegs move in a circular path so that path will be tangent to this line at this point and tangent to this line which is another position of the slot at this point. So we are going to draw perpendiculars at the tip of these slot positions and wherever these two perpendiculars intersect that will be the center because these perpendiculars are going to be the radius a perpendicular to a tangent is a radius so we know this is the center of the path and this is the end of the path so this is the circular path of the peg in fact we can even draw the peg say 1.5 millimeter radius now we need to know how deep the peg would go and for that we are going to draw a circle with this as a center and tangential to the path of the peg this is how deep it will come so i'm going to draw uh, the slot now which will be starting at the intersection of these two and going right right up to here and it will be twice as thick as the peg so three millimeters let us round this off nicely over here so from the center i'll draw this circle get rid of this circle we don't need it anymore i'm going to merge these two shapes so this is how our slot would look and then i'm just going to center it move it okay on the line here then i'm going to drop this into pieces and i'll add some material beyond this slot say three millimeters on this side three millimeters on this side and then I'm going to copy this and rotate this by 72 degrees like this. Then I'm going to draw an arc which starts at this point and whose center is over here and ends at this point. Then I'm going to use this center line to chop this part off, use this center line to chop this part off, uh, even get rid of these little lines here so that will open up the uh, slot and then I'm just going to string this together one fifth of our Genoa wheel so we will take this now and we'll make four copies of this one fifth that completes our Genoa wheel of course these are five pieces so we'll have to string them together again there we go. Let's get rid of this construction lines and rotate this over here. So I'm going to extrude this by say three millimeters up like that. I will extrude this disc by three millimeters down like that. And then I'm going to use this peg to and extrude it or protrude it on the disc. Let's see how this looks. Now we need to design the stop, which will be starting at this position and it will be going around. So when the peg comes to this end, the slot will engage. So the other end of the slot will be symmetrically placed about this line. So I'm going to mirror that line, mirror this line about this here. So this is the angular extent of our slot and it is going to meet with this uh, Geneva wheel over here locking it so that's going to be its radius so let's draw an arc whose, which, which will start here this is its center and this is its extent then I am going to just copy it okay, with some thickness like that and this part I am going to extrude up that will create our lock let us see the final 
finished product. So this is the lock. It is about to disengage from uh, the Geneva wheel as the pig engages with it. Let's see how they move. So pig moves in. It is in the deepest position now and then it is slowly disengaging coming out and just when it is about to come out the lock is going to engage. So they alternate. Okay? It is either the lock or the peg. So one of them is always in contact with the Geneva wheel. One holds it, one moves it and the whole cycle starts all over again. Let's see the motion. Locked and moving in locked and it's moving of course you can have genua wheels with more slots say six slots over here and you can even make them more complicated here is one with four uh, forks four slots and it is attached to a double slider so this is how they work